Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Today is a good old what I eat in a day. Um, vegan, of course. It's been a while since I've done one of those, so I thought, you know what? Let's do it today. Let's film everything that I eat. And let me tell you, I'm feeling pretty hungry right now. I did a 12k run this morning, actually not so long ago. I've just got out of the shower, quickly dried my hair and I'm ready for brekkie. So I just had my coffee. It's actually my second coffee of the day. I did have my first coffee before my run, but now it's time to get something to eat. The good news is my breakfast is already pretty much ready because I prepared most of it before going on my run. So let's go to the kitchen, finish it and eat. Okay, so let me remind you back to what happened this morning. As soon as I got up, I combined some oats, some vegan protein powder. You know, I love my ghost vegan protein. I also added some chia seeds and I gave that a good mix. I then added some cinnamon and I soaked everything with a good splash of almond milk. I made sure everything was well combined before adding a good handful of frozen berries. You want your oats to be quite soggy because when they go in the fridge, the oats and the chia seeds are gonna gain loads of volume when they soak. Breakfast prep done, ready to go in the fridge for after my run. They've got the perfect thick consistency. So I'm just gonna add a few more toppings and I'll be good to go for breaky. So I've just added some almond flakes and some toffee flap drops. I usually don't have breakfast at my desk, but it's already 9 a.m. and I've got some work to do. So yeah, I'm gonna have breakfast in front of my laptop. Uh, but I am excited for this breakfast. The thing is, right, let's be honest, the appearance of overnight oats or soaked oats or whatever you want to call them, um, it doesn't make them any justice because I give that to you. It doesn't look mega appetizing, but it's so good. If you've had like cold soaked oats with berries and like some toppings and stuff, it's just so good. <laughs> yeah, really good. I'm gonna eat this get some work done, crack on with the day, and then I will pick up the camera again next time I'm eating something. As you guys know, I take my vegan gummies every morning without a fail just to ensure I get enough of all the essential micronutrients. So I take the multivitamin, the iron gummies, and I've also just started to take the fish-free omega-3 gummies. I do have a discount code for 15% off. In the morning, I snacked on a couple of these beetroot falafels. Honestly, if you find them in your local supermarkets, you have to try them. They're just so good. All right, it's time to make some lunch. I fancy some pasta. I hope I have tomato sauce. I'll probably add some meatballs, veggies, and like all my usual toppings. Um, so yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I only make very simple meals. I'm not the person to go to for like elaborate vegan recipes. I love when it's just quick, easy and tasty. So today I'm going to use this red lentil pasta. I find this really tasty and also they just have a bit more protein. Like for one serving you have 20.9 gram plant-based protein. And then I'm going to pop some vegan meatballs in the oven. I love the Linda McCartney's meatballs. They're called vegetarian meatballs, but don't you worry, they are vegan approved. Like they're 100% vegan. So yeah, a few of these in the oven. I'm gonna boil some water for the pasta and then I'm gonna have a think about the veggies I want to have for that. So as you can see, for the veggies, I decided to use a courgette and an onion that I had in the fridge. I know it's weird that I peel my courgette, but I don't know, sometimes I just don't really fancy eating the skin of the courgette. So yeah, I'll just peel it off. Right, so I realized we didn't have any tomato sauce, but I found this tomato puree and I thought it would do the job for today. If you've watched my previous full days of eating, 
you know my favorite toppings, dulce flakes, nutritional yeast, and the super seed and salt topper is just the best combo if you ask me. And this was my lunch for today, red lentil pasta, tomato puree, vegan meatballs, veggies, and my toppings for extra crunch, nutrients, and taste. As a snack in the afternoon, I had an apple with a big dollop of almond butter. This one is from Umelo. It was kindly gifted. It's more on the runny side, but it's pretty good. So it is dinner time and tonight it's me, myself and I. Ben was in London for work all day. He's gonna have dinner on the train and he's gonna be home quite late. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my dinner. <laughs> you know what I fancy tonight? I kind of fancy like a savory bricky. I feel like a tofu scramble, which is quite like a something you have for breakfast with toast. So yeah, I'm gonna make a tofu scramble on toast with some mushrooms, some lettuce on the side. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and use half a block of this tofu. Also, I look like an absolute state. I'm so tired. I don't know if you can see, but my eyes are so red. Too many hours on the laptop today. Um, but anyway, also, I love doing my tofu scramble with, um, with a pan like this, which is very much a pancake pan, but it just works so much better. So yeah, end of blabbing, let's go ahead and do this. So I cut and pressed a half a block of tofu, and then I started to kind of like mash it to achieve some sort of a scramble. This is the step that takes the longest, the rest is just super quick and easy. And then I added a good amount of turmeric to give it a nice color. I also like to add some mixed spice for extra taste and then I combine it all together. It still blows my mind. Look at that, tofu scrambled. When you put turmeric on it, how close does it look to proper scrambled eggs? Like, it is quite mad. If you don't know it's tofu, you probably assume it's eggs. Still blows my mind. Anyway, I'm gonna heat this up in the pan now. So I also prepped some mushrooms to go with the tofu scramble. I just cooked them with a little bit of oil in a pan for a few minutes. I then slightly toasted a piece of bread. I added some vegan flora butter. I put some lettuce on the plate. I poured the tofu over the toast with the mushrooms. And that was my dinner ready. Oh no, actually, I also added some ketchup because I love ketchup on tofu. So, I just finished this tub of yogurt, which I had opened yesterday. There was about like half a tub left, so I had that after my tofu. And now I'm also having a cup of berry tea whilst I wait for Ben to get home. By the way, sorry if you hear the dishwasher <laughs> in the background. I completely forgot that I was not done filming and I put it on a little bit too early. But uh, yeah, waiting for Ben, having my cup of tea, I love having a red berry tea in the evening and this one smells so good it's from the brand called Puka Puka I'm not sure how you pronounce it but you know which one I mean like it's a super famous brand anyway I'm not gonna eat or drink anything else tonight so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye